Hi, I'm Zach with Gotham Physical Therapy, and I wanted to show you an exercise to prevent or reduce pain that you may have in the, your upper neck, uh, your head headaches, and even your jaw. And this exercise is uh, appropriate if you have that pain on one side and you also notice a lack of range of motion in your neck. So say I have this pain on the left side here, and then I check my range of motion left and right. So I go right, I've got good range of motion. I go left and I notice I can't go as far and I have pain on the left side. Then what I wanna do is first of all, start with a chin tuck, okay? When I do a chin tuck, I'm just sliding my head back, giving myself a double chin. I'm not looking up and I'm not looking down, just straight back, okay? And once I've done that, I wanna turn my head as far as I can get it to the left. So I'm gonna turn my head to the left, give a little overpressure with my hand, and then come back to center. Left, overpressure, come back to center. Left, overpressure, come back to center. I keep my chin tucked the whole time when I do that, okay? I don't let that go and have it jut out. So chin stays tucked the whole time. I turn to the left, a little over pressure with my hand, just like that. So when you do this exercise, you may notice a little bit of soreness here in, uh, in the top of your neck, and that is okay, nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, expected to have a little bit of soreness with that. We don't want it getting worse though, so if it gets worse, don't force it. Um, and you shouldn't be experiencing any sort of uh, nerve type pain things spreading down your arm or anything like that. So if that's the case, stop as well. The exercise is meant to be done 10 to 15 repetitions at a time and done fairly frequently throughout the day. If you do it once and don't notice a difference, um, that doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Uh, it is a repeated motions exercise, so the intent is for, the, for you to do it frequently. Uh, generally, we start somewhere between every two and three hours. Um, but most people probably need it a little bit more often than that. And I will generally tell clients who I've already told to take uh, a break from their you know, seated desk work every 30 minutes. During that break, that's a good exercise to do. So give it a try. Uh, have some patience, stick with it a little bit, and see what happens.